Um, and the last one in our digestive category is dandelion, Taraxacum officinalis. We can use the whole plant. We use the root, we use the leaf, we use the flower. Um, the root we would harvest in the fall if you really wanted the uh, properties of the root to be the strongest. The whole plant we would generally harvest in the spring or in the summer. Uh, the flower has a little bit of medicinal value, but generally we just put that on salads just to have a nice bright yellow flower on there. Um, it is a stimulant tonic. So this is the first stimulant tonic that we've actually talked about, although we went over the category at the very beginning. So this really is gonna stimulate some processes within the body, but it's also highly nutritive. So it is really gonna be tonifying, um, especially to the liver, but really to all the systems in the body. Um, it's a cholagog, and a cholagog means that it will help break up fats that are in the gallbladder. So a lot of times when people have to have their gallbladder taken out, it's because they get these little fatty deposits of bile that can't go through um, the ducts of the gallbladder. But with dandelion, it can actually break up those deposits and somebody who may have what the Western physicians would call like a sluggish liver or a sluggish gallbladder could be um, helped by taking dandelion. It's a diuretic, but again, like burdock, it is highly nutritive. So it's a diuretic, but you're actually keeping all of your electrolytes and you're keeping your potassium, you're keeping your iron. So you're not urinating out all your essential electrolytes. Um, so it is also an aperient, which means it relieves constipation. So like all, um, or some bitter herbs, the bitter quality will actually clear heat from the intestines and then help promote a better bowel movement. The systems are digestive, hepatic, and urinary. The taste is bitter. Some people will attribute a sweet taste to the root, but the leaves are definitely just a bitter taste. The energy is cool. Um, Dandelion is really great for acne, boils, urinary tract inf infection, mastitis or even breast cancer, hepatitis, um, fluid retention because it is a diuretic, as well as just overall a general tonic for liver health. The only caution is that in some people with a cool or a cold disposition, long-term use of dandelion can actually cause too much internal coldness. For most people, this isn't gonna be a problem, especially if we're just eating it as a food source. But if it is something that you're taking in high doses for a long period of time, just monitor your clients and make sure that they're not becoming too internally cold. It's generally taken as an infusion, a tincture, or just eaten as a green or a root vegetable. The leaves, the dosage in an infusion would be one to three grams. The root, you could use three to six grams. And if you're taking a tincture, one to three mils, three times a day. Dandelion is very high in minerals. Um, the tea of the leaves is a good spring tonic. So a lot of people after winter time and eating a lot of heavier foods, they're feeling a little bit more sluggish. So we will add um, dandelion to our salads or we'll drink just a very simple dandelion tea and that's gonna help like kind of get us out of that winter rut, winter rut and give us more energy for spring. Um, we can eat the flowers and salads, we can steam the greens. Um, one thing that the greens are really good for is they will clear obstruction and eliminate toxins from the blood. Um, and because of its diuretic action, it's really great for cystitis, nephritis, and hepatitis.